this is Wizzles, and we're back with an another redo of this video about the Elgato software usage, or how to use it, and yeah, first thing I'm going to show you guys is where to download it, I already have this up here, but you go to gamecapture.com slash download, it'll bring this up right away, see, it, it says slash download. You don't have to type these in, you can just type in slot backslash download. But here's the Mac version and then the Windows version, obviously the two different symbols, but and they had a new update, which is awesome because it, it does 1080p now. It records in 1080p. And I don't know if you guys heard that, but a helicopter just went by my house, so uh, yeah, but anyways, this is their website, you download it from here, and now I'm going to start up the software, so you guys can see. Oh, that's not happening. <laughs> Yeah, I was playing Modern Warfare 3 last when I was started recording. I don't know if you guys seen our video that I posted with the tactical chat with Micro Remix. Or Micro Re, but... Yeah, I, I uploaded that in 1080p. So, yeah. And here's... It came up, which means I have it plugged in correctly. And I guess I'll just start with the basics here's the record button the giant red button you can't miss <laughs> and then this thing is called the time shift and when you start see how this is just going already I haven't even recorded yet if you miss something in your game you can drag this back and it'll bring it back as you can see where I first started up my Xbox you can bring it back or you can you can bring it back and record and then you can like you won't miss you won't miss a thing that happens in your game. So all right, I guess I'll start I'll go to here. This is the preferences. This is where you can this is like where you save stuff, the HD library location. And you can reset it or change it and you can have the format be MP4 original or 1080p. I don't know the difference. I just leave it in MP4 original. But maybe I'll try 1080p format. But yeah, and then you can use 1080p for iPad and Apple TV exports. And then all of these are it says actions to share videos. You can use these to like you can have them upload automatically to like your iPad or to YouTube or to Facebook or Twitter or I don't know I haven't used these yet so I've only used this I just take all these off because I don't want it to like make any extra hard drive space but anyways I guess that's that and then the software update it automatically checks for updates that's I leave it on that and I guess I can go here there's you can just like do a quick write up of what your gameplay is when you record it or like what game title of your video and description and tags so that you, you can have tags when you upload it straight to YouTube or something and you can also edit tags it has all the different things as opposed to just this but yeah and let me get to the the meat of the software this is the settings for your Xbox or PS3 or whatever you're using you can use iPad or other apparently um, the input I have it set at HDMI it's not I think I don't think you can use component for Xbox, but and then with analog audio, it just allows you to use like 
I don't know exactly, but it says for analog inputs for audio. And then you, you can do mobile. It's These are the types of, like, the resolutions of video. So standard is 480p. Mobile is probably the same or less for, like, smaller screens for phones and stuff. And then HD 720. You can you can actually have your your Xbox output set at 1080p, but you can record in 720, which is really nice because you won't have all that hard drive space being used up so quickly like I am. <laughs> but I have it set at 1080, and even though it just says HD 1080, it it can go or for 720 as well. It can go 720p, 1080i, 1080p, I think. So you can basically record on any HDTV. And preserve source format, this takes up a lot more space, like like twice as much. As you can see up here, it says my input 60 frames per second, and then the output is 30 frames. So it's recording at 30 frames per second. But if I preserve source format, it'll record at 60 frames per second, which will like probably double this hard drive space. And then the audio is just what the audio is for the output. And then what's interesting about the picture settings, you can change these in here and it'll change it on your Xbox for you, which is pretty cool. And then uh, analog audio gain, you can only use it with analog audio, uh, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, well, that's pretty much it for settings. And now for editing in the software, I mean, it's pretty basic. You can just, like, see, this is the last video I recorded. Me and, me and Michael Ree, we were playing Face Off. I may put this video up. I'm not sure yet, depending on how well we do. <laughs> but, yeah. And yeah, here's all the videos I've done. Here's a PS3 quality test, but this is for the Xbox. So, anyways, pretty much all you can do is like you can cut or you can trash. You can or for sharing, you can. When I checked off all those things for preferences, I think yeah. See all these. When I check these, they'll pop back up down here because you can. This is that's like the sh these are like share actions. So, this just allows you to upload to YouTube. Like I said, upload Facebook, Twitter. I don't know about the email. I may try that just to experiment with the software. But yeah, hit OK. They all pop up here. These are for just converting the files into mp4 or mp4 1080p but yeah that's pretty much it and you can um, I think you can search for your file names like let's see if I can search for oh nope oh wait oh well that didn't work but you can like it has a library of what all of what you recorded like see I have all of this in here and then I have some Medal of Honor gameplay and Resident Evil these will be up on our channel um, and then that's just a test that I had for with 1080p but any that's pretty much it I mean it's a really simple software all you do is record and yeah record and then I just use other editing programs like Sony Vegas or After Effects but yep that's pretty much it really simple software really easy well I guess that is it you guys so be sure to like comment subscribe and like for being in better quality than the last videos <laughs> so all right
I guess. I'll see you guys later.